okay so welcome to my channel in this particular video i will be showing you how to um, upload and configure the high yield investment script okay so i'll be showing you the various steps you need to take to set the script up it's, it's a very easy step so all you need to do is to follow my step by step as i'm working on this video right now okay so you know the first thing you need to do is to purchase your domain name and hosting so as you can see over here i'm on my hosting already that i'll be using for this particular training okay so you can get your domain name and a hosting from from namecheap all right so you can get your domain name and hosting from namecheap so once you get your domain name and hosting you will have access to this particular um, dashboard so all you need to do is to locate file manager okay so you have to locate file manager once you locate file manager then click on it so you'll be directed to this particular um, session okay so if you want to upload the script on the main domain name of your um, hosting that is the main domain name that is linked to your host all you need to do is to locate the public underscore html all right so then you have to upload the script on this session but um, i don't want to upload the script on the main domain name of this particular website because i have um, a website and i have another website on this particular um, domain name already so i already created a sub domain name that i will be using for this for this training okay so this is the sub domain name that i'll be using so once you get to this particular session then all i need to do now is to i will have to delete those folders that is appearing inside this particular domain name so i'll just select or right click then i will delete all right so um this particular um domain name now is empty so let me let me copy it okay so okay this is the domain name here so let me refresh it now okay so this particular domain name is empty right now so this is where i'm going to upload the script all right so i'll be uploading the script right here but if you want if you, if you are using the main domain name of your hosting then you have to upload the script on this uh, public underscore html which is this session that you are seeing okay so since i'm using a subdomain name so this is where i will be uploading the script over here so um, all i need to do right now is to click on upload okay so i'll have to go over to my system and then drag the script so this is the script okay so i'll have to drag the script to this um to my c panel okay then i will have to drop it here okay so it's going to take a while to upload so i just have to pause this video now and resume back later okay so the uploading of this uh, script is complete right now that's uh, that's why you are seeing it showing green all right what i need to do next now is to go back to the um, file manager where we uploaded the script so i will click on this section here to go back all right so here is the script over here so i will have to click on them um, the the particular zip file then i will right click once i right click this particular menu will pop up then i will click on extract okay so these the files are extracting right now all right so once this particular extraction result pop up you have to click on close so those are the file those are the um script file so i can delete this particular zip file now we don't need it anymore so i'll just right click and then delete all right so we don't need it those are the um the files that we need okay so all i need to do now is to go over to this particular session here okay i'll have to go over to this particular session here and then um refresh all right so once uh, you see your your dash your um, domain name appear like this so you know that the script is there on the um, c panel all right so but before we continue we have to create our um we have to create our database all right so we have to create our database because we'll be needing it um later so to, to create our database now we have to scroll down 
and see on this particular session you see database you click on my sql database wizard okay so we have to give um, our database a name let's say training all right so uh, we are calling our database name training so let me just copy this then our database username i will call it training also then the password i will have to generate password so i have to generate password so i will have to click i have copied this password in a safe place then i'll click on use all right so all i need what i need to do now is that i will have to go to notepad okay so i have to paste this particular password here because we'll be needing it okay so i'll go back to the c panel and click on create user awesome guys awesome so the next thing i need to do now is to copy the database um, user and the database name so i'll just have to copy this particular so like this i'll copy then i'll go back to the notepad we created earlier then i'll paste all right so i'll have to click on this all privileges it's very important you click on this all privileges so once i click on it i'll click on make changes awesome guys awesome so we have successfully created our database so I'll ha i have to go back to um, our website right now then i will click on um, accept and next step okay so i'll click on accept and next step so you see this and uh, say server requirement so once everything is showing green like this then you have to click on next step okay awesome guys so this is the main um, area I want you to really understand. So this is a kind of a tricky session, so, but it's very easy to, to pass this particular file permission session, okay? So all you need to do now is that, what this particular session is trying to tell you is that you need to grant this particular folder, this particular folder, you need to grant, um, you need to um, grant the permission to 775, okay? So you need to, re said require permission is, 775 okay so i'll have to show you how to pass this particular area although it's very easy but it's a kind of um tricky um, stuff to do okay so all we need to do now to, to because we want to make sure that everything that everything here that is showing this um, um bad sign so you, you need to make sure everything is showing green okay without that you cannot pass this particular stage okay so to do that right now you have to go to the um, file manager where we upload the script as you can see right now this particular um, session is trying to direct us to um this particular folder here okay so we have to locate this folder before we can locate this folder we need to first of all locate this then locate this then locate this okay so we have the core bootstrap and we have the catch okay so let's go to the folder so this is the core then this is the bootstrap then this is the particular um, folder we need to grant permission 775 okay so to grant permission you have to um, click on the folder highlight the folder then we'll click on this particular section here that says permissions okay so all we need to do right now is to tick on this particular as you can see the permission now is 755 okay but we need to grant it permission 775 okay so to to make this particular session seven now we need to like click here like this okay so it's now 775 so that's what they require for you to do so once you make sure once you click on this particular session and it's showing 775 so you have to click on change permission here okay so that's that's all you need to do so let's go back to the um, website and I refresh let's see if it's actually work okay awesome awesome so as you can see it's showing good now so that's all that's what we do for the uh, for the rest of them okay so that's what we do for the rest um folder okay so we need to grant this particular say your the storage permission um 775 okay so to do that now we need to go back okay let me check the folder again okay we have the core then we have the storage so we have the core inside the core then we have storage so this particular story we need to grant it permission 775 so to do that now so we'll click on the storage um, folder then i'll click on permission so once i click on permission okay so this particular pop-up will appear then i just have to click on this session here to make it 775 
Okay, then I'll click on make changes. Awesome. So let's go back here and refresh now. Okay, so as you can see, this particular session is showing good now. Let's um, let's work on this particular one now. We have the core, then the storage. So we have to open the storage folder now. Then inside the storage folder, inside the storage folder, there's another um, folder called app. Okay, so we need to grant that particular folder permission 775. So we have to open the storage folder now. Then this is the app. Okay, so I, I make sure I um, alight this particular app folder. Then I'll click on permission. Then I'll click here also. 775. Then I click on. Okay. So let's go back now and refresh. Let's refresh and see. Okay, so as you can see, this particular one is showing good right now. So we'll do the same thing for, for this particular session. We have the core storage, then we have the framework. Okay, so this particular, this is the particular folder we need to grant permission, 775 now. So I will click on permission, click like this, then change permission. Okay, so let's refresh. All right, so it's, it's many only this particular one. Now we have the core, we have the storage, we have the log. Okay, so this is it here. Yeah? Then click here. Okay, so let's let's refresh now. Okay, as you can see, everything is showing good, 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 good right now. So we can now click on next step. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So um, once you get to this particular session, you will be required to um, put your purchase code, then your website um, URL. Then we have your database name, database host um, name. Then we have the database username, database password. Then you have to set your admin credentials as well. Okay, so you have to set your admin username, admin password, and admin email. Okay, so um, I believe once you have access to the script, so you have access to this um, particular purchase code also. So I will just have to copy the purchase code. Okay. Okay, so once you put your purchase code, after placing your purchase code here, you have to put your uh, website URL, okay? So I'll just have to copy this, my website URL over here. All right, so this is my website URL. Then I will come over here and then paste my database name, okay? So if you remember, we pasted it on Notepad earlier. So this is my database uh, uh, name. So my database name and my database username is the same thing. So I will just have to paste it here. Okay, then the um, database host. So you just put um, local host as your database host, okay? Then my database and username. So I, if you, I, I, I choose the same name for my database name and my database username, so I'll paste this here also. Then my database password, so I will come over here and copy the password. So this is the, data, this is the password I created for um, database um, password. Okay, then over here also, I will have to um, set my admin credential. Okay, so this admin credential, this is what you will use to log in into the admin session of your website. Okay, so I will just make this um, admin. You have to choose my password. So I will um, select, let me just make my database um, password as my pass login password also. Okay, then I will have to um, I will have to put my email address. So that is the admin email address. So I have to do something like this. Okay. So let's say this, this is my admin email address. This is the admin email address to my website. So once you fill in those um, credentials, all you need to do now is to click on install now. Okay. So I have to install the script right now. So although it's going to take a while for the installation to complete, you just have to be patient, okay? So just be patient. So the script is installed uh, right now.
okay so um the website may, might refresh and everything will turn to blank that's all the feed that you have filled turn blank but don't worry so all you need to do now is to um, remove this particular session this install slash dashboard.php so you just have to reload your main website okay so awesome so as you can see once you reload your main website you'll see that the installation has been um, successful all right so that's how to set up the high yield investment script it's very easy it's very easy just follow all the steps that i um, did on this particular video you set it up within 10 minutes okay so if you want to log in your admin dashboard all you need to do now is to um your domain name.com slash admin okay so your domain name.com slash admin you be, you'll be directed to this um particular admin dashboard okay so if you want to log in now so you can log in with the admin email you added earlier okay let me see let me put my admin email okay so i have to paste the password also so this is the password this is the admin login password i'll paste here then i'll click on login all right awesome awesome guys so that's how to set up your high yield investment scripts thank you very much for watching god bless you